Well, welcome into sports. We start tonight with the girls' district championship games in our region. To Warren Central High School we go as the Bowling Green Lady Purples and South Warren Lady Spartans tip things off tonight. Lady Spartans showing some great ball movement here, getting Carrie Inlow an open shot from the from the corner, knocking it down outside the arc. But here come the Purples. Sanaya Shelton getting into the lane here, missing her first shot, but powers her way for the offensive board and lays it in. Flexing on us. We see you moments later. Purples press causing turnovers. Tisdale tosses it down the court to Shelton and she lays it in for the quick score. Lady Purples get the win 64 to 41, crowning them 14th district champions. And to Glasgow High School we go where the Barron County Trojanettes took on the Monroe County Falcons. Addison London misses the shot, but Abigail Varney plays cleanup as she gets the offensive board and puts it up for the score. Then Macy Lockhart feels some pressure inside the arc, so she passes it out to Katie Murphy, who drains the triple from the outside. And Katie Geralds hits the mid-range shot with ease, extending the Trojanettes' lead. Barron County takes home the 15th district crown, beating Monroe County 54 to 30. And to the 13th district now, where Franklin Simpson and Russellville were eyeing the title. The Lady Wildcats with some quick ball movement in the second half, leading to a lay, leading to a lay-in from the cutting Alara Barbie. Panthers respond with a great offensive rebound here and put back by Brindley Mason. And after a great block here by Anastasia Dowlin, the Lady Cats get the ball back and find Alara Barbie again for the basket. Franklin Simpson takes the title, beating Russellville 65 to 41. And finally to the 12th District Tournament Championship as Edmondson County and Butler County squared off. The Lady Bears start out with some great ball movement, getting the ball down to Taylor Clark. She turns around quick for the bucket foul, count it in one. And then Hallie Cassidy pushing the ball down the court, gets to the hoop, lays it in through contact and one. The Lady Bears dump the ball down to the post again and Clark goes back to work, floating it in. Nothing but Ned Butler County goes on to defeat Edmondson County 49 to 26. 